December 25th, 1848. My dear sir, I will write to you at more length when my heart can find a little rest. Now I can only thank you very briefly for your letter. Emily is nowhere here now. Her wasted mortal remains are taken out of the house. We have laid her cherished head under the church aisle beside my mother, my two sisters, dead long ago, and my poor, hapless brother. Some sad comfort I take as I hear the wind blow and feel the cutting keenness of the frost in knowing that the elements bring her no more suffering. Her deep, hollow cough is hushed forever. We do not hear it in the night, nor listen for it in the morning. My father says to me almost hourly, Charlotte, you must bear up. I shall sink if you fail me. So I will not now ask why Emily was torn from us in the fullness of our attachment, rooted up in the prime of her own days, in the promise of her powers, why her existence now lies like a tree in full bearing, struck at the root. I will only say, sweet is rest after labour, and calm after tempest, and repeat again and again that Emily knows that now. Yours sincerely, C. Bronte.